Scientists have identified nine processes which cause aging, known as the hallmarks of aging. Number one, genomic instability. Damage to our genome occurs daily because of external factors such as UV light or viruses, or internal factors such as replication errors when making new cells. Second, mitochondrial damage. Remember, mitochondria are the energy source of the cells. Damage to mitochondria is associated with cellular dysfunction and in turn with aging. Third, telomere attrition. Telomeres protect the end of the chromosomes, but every time they replicate, they become shorter, eventually leaving the genes unprotected at the ends and prone to damage. Fourth, epigenetic alterations. We have seen that the epigenome is more variable than the genome. This can cause epigenetic alterations which are detrimental to health, for example, if some cancerous genes are accidentally switched on. With time, the epigenome accumulates errors which are associated with the rise of other hallmarks of aging and with aging in general. Fifth, cellular senescence. A senescent cell is a cell that reached the end of its cycle, which means it can no longer replicate itself. Senescence is a good thing because it stops damaged cells from replicating and becoming cancerous. However, with time and age, the elimination mechanisms become less effective and senescent cells accumulate. The accumulation of senescent cells might be linked to many age-related diseases such as arthritis and cancer. Number six, loss of proteostasis. Protein homeostasis or proteostasis is the good functioning of all proteins in our body and correct disposal of dysfunctional ones. With time, these mechanisms become less effective at eliminating damaged proteins, and the damaged proteins may create disease. An example of this is Alzheimer's disease, caused by the accumulation of two types of damaged proteins, which go around and cause more damage. The seventh hallmark of aging is deregulated nutrient sensing. Cellular activities are all the natural functions that occur in the cell, such as transporting nutrients, replication, and transmission of nerve impulses. All of this activity needs fuel. If cells sense that the fuel is abundant, cellular activity and metabolism speed up. Over time, the pathways that signal nutrient levels deteriorate. For example, when the insulin pathways are affected, this causes diabetes. When nutrient sensing is not optimal, faster cellular activity occurs, leading to faster accumulation of cell damage and rapid aging. Number eight, stem cell exhaustion. Stem cells are blank cells. They have no specific identity to begin with and can transform into nearly any kind of human cell. Having stem cells available in the system allows for growth and regeneration of tissue, like having the raw materials to build or fix something. With age, stem cells in your body run out, eventually causing problems to your organs and immune system. And finally, number nine, altered intercellular communication. Aging does not simply affect each small component of the body, but also the system as a whole. All the damage and aging from cells and tissues affects adjacent cells and tissues, which can reduce the cell's ability to communicate with each other and maintain internal and external balance. This causes chronic inflammation, which affects the immune system and can cause things like cancer and atherosclerosis. A great idea came to the rescue. In 2006, Shinya Yamanaka had demonstrated that four specific genes known as Yamanaka factors can be used to convert any type of somatic cells into pluripotent stem cells. Somatic cells are any non-reproductive cell in the human body, such as brain cells, liver cells, and so on. The ability to convert somatic cells into stem cells allows us to repair diseased, dysfunctional, or damaged tissues and organs. Yamanaka received the 2012 Nobel Prize for his discovery, which gave rise to a new field of regenerative medicine, known as stem cell therapy. In December 2020, a paper was published demonstrating how this process restored vision in mice with a deteriorated or crushed optic nerve by reprogramming the cells in the nerve back to the youthful state. All the other hallmarks are being tackled in various innovative ways by private companies. Some might be able to offer treatments very soon, with many already at the early stages of regulatory approval. So at Retuberon, we target three, which we believe uh, most important hallmark of aging, which is stem cell depletion, 
senescent cells and telomere shortening. So on stem cell depletion, we are actually working on a novel drug discovery and development approach. So in this approach, we apply small molecules to regulate our own stem and progenitor cells to repair and regenerate organs and tissues. Or in other words, we instruct our body to heal itself. In a, in a second project, we, uh, we approach senescent cells. I think many of us by now know they accumulate by age and they inhibit actually the proliferation of what I just mentioned before to regenerate organs and tissues in a healthy way and to keep them functioning. So in, in our third project, we are working um, on telomere shortening and the telomeres are basically protecting our DNA and the healthy state of our body. The focus is on disease prevention and on the increase of health span rather than directly on lifespan. A lifespan increase is a consequence of the increased health and youthfulness, but not necessarily the intended objective. We are really focusing on not even have these hallmarks of aging as opposed to how medicines are being taken today or approached today is that we discover we have a disease and then we try to heal it with the approach of addressing these hallmarks of aging processes we prevent even the deterioration of these organs and tissues and keep our body healthy and expand the health span accordingly. Scientists and businesses alike seem very optimistic about the fact that in a matter of years or decades at most, we will be able to defeat aging and the diseases associated with it. And then I believe actually the next wave of growth positively will be longevity because so many people will stay active and, and be part of, of a productive life.